Hey guys, welcome back to Hemlock Ridge. Glad you can make it. On this episode, we're going to be talking about off-grid power stations or otherwise known as solar chargers. Hope you'll stick around, check it out, see if it's right for you. Well, it's, uh, it's great to be back here in summer. Definitely a lot different than when it's cold in winter, full of ice and snow. Uh, beautiful time of year, although I like winter too. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead, click that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment if you have a question or some feedback. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And this is a channel all about off-grid living, off-grid tools, uh, nature, outdoors, beautiful landscapes. So if you like that, you're in for a treat. Hey, today, thank you to Blue Eddy for sponsoring today's episode. Uh, Blue Eddy has sent me a power station and a power bank uh, to go ahead and review those and show how you might be able to use these for your particular off-grid setup on your homestead, farm, or even for camping. So what I have today is known as a power station or sometimes a solar generator. The reason they call it a solar generator is you can hook it up to a solar panel and recharge it. And if some of you have been watching the channel, you know I did a video a while back on how to do a cheap do-it-yourself solar system for only a few hundred dollars. Now, that episode was meant to illustrate how you could build a solar setup really, really inexpensively. I've had a lot of comments and said, hey, you could do that a lot better, or you could just go get a solar generator. Absolutely, that's correct, right? But that episode was about if you only wanted to spend a few hundred dollars, how you could set up solar and some basic power in your off-grid building. Today, though, I want to talk about solar generators or power stations. What's really nice about these is the convenience. Everything in this works out of the box. It includes every single component that I put into my manual solar install in a little box that's just about the size of a car battery. So you've got, obviously, your battery, you've got your inverter, you've got your charge controller, you've got an AC battery charger built in, you've got a battery management system, everything right here ready to go right out of the box and that's the beauty in these there's no setup there's no configuration they're portable you don't need to have it permanently installed and hooked up somewhere you can take it wherever you need or take it around your property now these have come a long way in the last few years uh, what i really like about these is the size they're getting smaller uh, the portability the capacity and now bluetti has done something really unique is that bluetti has created expandable power stations. And what's nice about these is that you can actually uh, bring a smaller, lighter power station for when you just need it for uh, maybe a quick weekend or a small job. But if you need something with an extended stay, you can marry it with additional capacity. And this is really one of the smaller solar generators on the market that can be married with an additional battery to increase capacity. So let's talk about some of the ways you might use this. Well, first of all, you can literally bring this and plug it into your off-grid cabin and power anything in your off-grid cabin from lights uh, to television, to recharge your computer, your phones, your electronics, even use it for running appliances like a small fridge, a vacuum cleaner, um, all of those things that you would normally do on AC power or with a gas generator, you can also do with this solar generator and power station. Again, what's nice about the portability of this is that if you're going tailgating, if you're going camping, if you uh, just need to throw uh, something in the trunk uh, because you're going to need power for an outdoor movie or to run a piece of power equipment, this power station is like having a portable AC outlet wherever you go. The great thing too is you no longer need to choose between capacity and portability. Uh, before, if you wanted uh, to invest in a power station that was going to have uh, more power and capacity, maybe, you know, a thousand watt hours, you would need something that's the size of a cooler on wheels. Uh, now you can get something smaller like this and again, made it with a additional or several additional battery 
uh, packs and get that same capacity for when you need it. And it's a lot more portable because these, this unit only weighs about 20 pounds. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the specs. Now, Bluetti sent me an AC60. Uh, that is a 600 watt uh, AC uh, power station. It's got about 403 watt hours of capacity. Now, what's neat about this is they have a power lifting mode where you can turn that on and it will actually deliver up to 1200 watts of instant power for when you need something that's a little bit more thirsty. Again, like a power tool, uh, perhaps you uh, uh, brought the instant coffee pot or whatever it might be, you've got the power right here to, to be able to run that. Uh, what's nice too is uh, this is really well built. It's IP65 dust and water resistant, which means if it gets splashed on or stuck in a little bit of outside rain, it's going to be okay. And I just really like um, all of the different ways that you can get power out of this device. Uh, so first and foremost, on the top here, you have a wireless charging pad. So you can put your smartphone right at the top and it will quick charge your wireless sm or your smartphone if you have wireless uh, charging enabled on your smartphone. You've got your traditional uh, car and auto port uh, plug here for 12 volt as well too. You've got a 100 watt USB-C outlet, which is what a lot of the new phones and laptops are now using to charge. And then you've got two traditional USB-A outlets uh, at three amps as well too uh, for additional electronics that you need to charge here. And then of course, you've got your traditional AC outlets, two of those. And uh, that is uh, really all of the ways that you can pull power out of this device. Now they have thought of a lot of nice things. One of the great things is the LED display here, which will show you how much power you have remaining, how much power you're actually using at any one time. So you know uh, how much juice you're actually drawing through that device. And then you have buttons to turn on both the DC power and the AC power. Now, what I like is this unit has an eco mode. So if it detects that you're not using the DC or AC power for a while, it will automatically shut it down to conserve power because even in standby mode, this will draw a little bit of power. Overall though, the unit is uh, pretty rugged. It's made well. Um, it's uh, definitely got um, nice quality to it as well. Uh, the handle here, you can pull this up and it actually is uh, again, about 20 pounds, but you can feel uh, nothing on this feels cheap at all. Um, one of the other things they thought about, which is really nice, is they've put a light on the back. So again, maybe you're tent camping, maybe you've got a, a wall tent and you're uh, doing some hunting for the weekend. You need some light in there. You go ahead and click this. You've got low, high, and then SOS mode, which is uh, really, really nice. Now, again, what makes this unit really unique is it's not like a traditional power cube or power station where you plug it in and you are limited to the amount of capacity uh, that is in the unit. This is called the Bluetti B80. Now this is another battery. It's a DC only battery. So it doesn't have an inverter in it. It only will put out DC, but it actually has twice of the capacity as the AC80 because all of those electronics aren't in there. So this has about 806 watt hours of capacity. What's really neat is you can use this as a standalone to charge your electronics. This too has an auto style 12 volt port, um, also a USB-A and a USB-C port. And it also has a power indicator on here to show uh, how much power is in the unit. So if you're going somewhere and you just need to charge your electronics and your phones and stuff like that for the weekend, this DC unit works great. What's really neat though, is you can actually um, run this in parallel with the AC60 to increase your power. You've got about 400 here. You've got about 800 on the B80 together. That's about 1200 watt hours. Uh, that's the equivalent of about a hundred amp hour battery in a really easy to carry uh, capacity. If you want to get two B80s, uh, that will be 1600 watts, watt hours of capacity plus the 400 plus watt hours in the AC80. Now you've got over 2000 watt hours of capacity, uh, which is really nice. And you can daisy chain all of these together. Now what's great is right out of the box, the B80 comes with a cord to run these in parallel. So I literally can take this cord, uh, plug it into the port on my B80 here, and it just clicks in there. And then I can go ahead and put that in here into the AC60. And 
you'll see now my capacity has just increased. Um, I now have uh, a fully charged battery with over uh, 100 hours of capacity remaining here. So that is really nice um, how easy it is to run these two things in parallel as well too. Now there are four different ways that you can charge these devices, which is really nice. You can plug them into an AC outlet, charge it up at home, and then when you get to your destination, you've got a fully charged battery. You've got the ability to charge this from your car. It does come with a car charger. You put it in, uh, plug it into the uh, 12 volt receptacle in your car. It'll take a little bit longer, but you can charge it from the car as well. You can charge it from solar panels. That's why it is a solar generator. So this does come out of the box with MC4 connectors, which is a very standard solar panel connector. You can buy any solo solar panel, any portable solar panel online, as long as it's at least 100 watts. It does need a 100 watt minimum to activate solar charging and will uh, accommodate up to 200 watts of solar panel capacity. So if you're going to be off grid for a while, you don't have a gas generator to charge this back up, you can go ahead and put this out in the sun and let it charge during the day. Um, you also have the ability to charge this from a, a lead acid battery with some battery clips um, and an adapter that will go into the unit as well too. So lots of flexibility. Here's what I really like about these units is that they have lithium iron phosphate batteries. If you've watched my previous video on lithium iron phosphate, they're fantastic. Uh, they can get thousands of charges before any degradation. Uh, they have a greater depth of discharge. You can pretty much use the entire battery without ruining it. Um, they also are safe. They're not like lithium batteries in a lot of these e-bikes and things like that. It's a different chemistry, so there's no risk of them overheating and starting on fire when you charge them. Uh, but perhaps the greatest thing is that you can charge them really, really quickly. And Blue Eddy's done a great job of um, accommodating that. Um, they have a turbo charging mode in this unit, and it will charge this unit to 100% in one hour. And that's really important if you're off grid, because if you are reliant on a gas generator to get your power, uh, you can turn that gas generator on, only run it for an hour. And now you've replenished all of the power in here so that you can turn off that generator and use your solar generator or your power bank uh, for the rest of the day and perhaps uh, you know wait 24 hours until you have to fire up that gas generator again. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the electronics that are in this unit. Um, in addition to the display here, which uh, again is very easy to read, um, you have the ability to use the Blue Eddy mobile app, uh, which comes with this unit. And you can control this entire unit from your mobile phone you can also turn it on or off. You can uh, access uh, the settings to uh, choose how fast you want it to charge. You can uh, throttle on eco mode, all kinds of things. And that's really nice because if you are in a one room cabin and you're charging this up, you can actually put it on silent mode where it'll charge slower, but it won't activate the internal cooling fans. So you have a lot of flexibility to check not only how much power you have left, but also operate uh, everything on the unit right from your mobile phone. The other thing, since this is an all-in-one, is that you have a pure sine wave inverter. So that's a very uh, high-quality inverter versus a modified inverter. And what that means is you can run sensitive electronics with this uh, because the quality of the power that it puts out through the AC units is a pure sine wave, uh, which is fantastic for sensitive electronics and computers and things of that nature. It also has a battery management system. So one of the uh, possible limitations of lithium ion phosphate batteries is you cannot charge them under freezing. You can use them under freezing, you just can't charge them. So this has both low temperature cutoff, high temperature cutoff. So if your unit was left outside and its the battery is still below freezing, it will not attempt to charge that battery and ruin it. It'll wait until the battery is at an acceptable temperature to charge it. So I tell you, I have uh, been impressed with these, uh, these units. Um, just having the portability of power here at this property, there's oftentimes I'm doing a project I'm working on something, I don't have any power nearby. <clears throat> I may not wanna lug a, a suitcase gas generator around because they're very heavy. And just having this uh, to be able to throw in the back of a vehicle, uh, to carry it uh, wherever you need to go and be able to plug something into it, a tool, uh, a light, um, a radio, it's really, really nice to be able to do that. And uh, I'm really impressed at just how great a portable power station can be in an off-grid setting uh, or a homestead. So hopefully this information was valuable. If you're trying to figure out how to 
uh, still have some power in your off-grid setup. Um, I know I've been impressed and I think uh, a portable power station is definitely a great tool to have for any off-gridder. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Blue Eddy, um, I'll put some links down in the description. You can check those out. Um, I believe they're running some discounts uh, throughout part of the month in July for Prime Day. And uh, feel free to, to research that if, if you find it helpful. Um, I'm going to do a future video on how to get television and internet off-grid. That's a popular topic a lot of folks have asked me about. So keep an eye out for that. That will be coming up soon. And that's going to wrap up today's episode of Hemlock Ridge. So thanks for coming along. Hope to see you back here again soon.